Assalamu alaikum guys, in this video we'll talk about costs in Laravel, let's start. The costs is responsible for how a value from column will be read. For example here, I have in my table posts, id and boolean is published by admin and here our user id as integer again and here title as you can see is the string and body as text and also here likes and dislikes and here we have tags like json right and the status it's enum and the published at as date time here and other columns as you can see by the way this status is takes from here post status enum and the one represents active two represents pending right so let's start for example what if we want to read the id as a string if we say here bh percent tinker and i will say post first post here and i will display id it's integer as you can see what if we want to convert this value to string for any reason maybe we can say here id and string right back and check it again and as you can see it's converted to string another example if we want to convert a value to fluent string in Laravel fluent string is stringable class and it has a bunch of methods as you can see here if we back here again this fluent strings it has actually tens of methods that can be helpful for our code so for example here i will say title right and i will convert it to stringable class by using as stringable here and it's class now let's check the value again arts and tinker and i will say title now it's converted to stringable class and for a reason i want to convert each first letter from the these words to capital letter we can use a method called title here because it's stringable class and this title method exists in stringable class title and as you can see now the first letter from each word is capital and let's get the final value using a value super easy right here is the reference of this title method as you can see here and it works correctly also we can use it for body because it's also a text we can convert it to a stringable class maybe for calculating the count or the number of words let's back again and i will use it for body back and test again and i want to calculate the number of words and here's our body stringable again and we may say here word count and it contains three words right the next value here is array in most cases it uses for converting a json to array because if i try to get the tags here tags here is by the way the post right i want to get the tags i will say here tags and it's a string so most of us may do something like that using a mutator or accessor like that and if we try to get it again by the way here i am using get tags attribute and i convert it or decoding it using a json decode method and now let's get tags it's converted to object or array we can do it here second parameter is true or one and get it again now it's converted to array and instead of this method we can say here tags and convert it to array right let's comment it again and get it again here and now it's automatically converted to array and saved a method implementing right what if for example we want to manipulate this test to value and changing its value and then saving it to our database so first of all i will get the post and here post first right and i will say here for tags equal to post tags as you can see it's array and i will say tags here is the index test to th this one will equal to welcome for example when i say post tags equal to tags sorry it post now it's changed and if i try to save it post save now it's saved let's back and see in our database the value is changed
but what if for example we try to do something like that updating the value directly so here for example i will say again here get the first post right and i will say here post and tags here i will change this test to key this key again equal to test me and as you can see here indirect modification right it's not manipulatable so if you want to change it directly from the array from the object we can use another type called as array object class and save it now let's try it again here in our tinker i will fetch the first post and if i try to change tags test to key here to another value it works correctly let's save it post save and it's saved back to our database and here test me works correctly right another value here if we try to get the value of boolean column zero or one let's check it now post and i will say is by admin it returns zero to make it return a true or false word we can say here boolean here our instead of tags it will be boolean and this test again and now it returns false or true right it's useful when you use tests because php unit asserts true or false expect this exactly false or true not zero or one the next one here is timestamps imagine here for example we want to get created at right and instead of using this method timestamps each time timestamp converted to timestamp we can cast it directly using timestamp for example here created at and we will say timestamp back and use it again created at directly and it works as the same result imagine if we have a price and it may has multiple decimal points for example like that one two and it has some things like that and we want it only to return the two points or any number of points here after points to the number only we can do it easily using here for example i will apply it for likes column it's integer but the example will be clear so for likes here it will be split as double and take only two digits after point so back and check again and i will say likes actually it's not double it's decimal check again and as you can see 9.00 what if i increase it to four to include four numbers after point back and check again and now four zeros after point also the same thing here if we want to convert a value to integer we can use integer directly integer here by default it's integer because it may be useful for converting a value from string to integer now it's integer also there is another type of casts called with casts or query time casts and it works when running a query for example here i am fetching users and by calculating also the likes average using post row and each user's likes average as you can see here here is the result by the way and here we have a key called likes average and it has decimal values and what if now we want to apply this value to take only two points or two digit after point we can do it easily using method called with casts here and it takes array as a parameter also and then we'll specify our key likes right and i will say decimal and take only two digits after point back and say again as you can see it works correctly it's null because this user has no post last thing here if you don't like any one of these types as it's defined here in Laravel documentation back here we have defined values if you can see these values here 
right and what if you want to create your own custom cast we can do it easily back here again and we can say php artisan tinker or sorry make cast and the cast name you want for example i want to create a cast or custom cast for this published ad to convert it to human dates so we can do it easily here make cast and human date cast and now it's generated inside app casts and here hum human date cast back to our code again inside app casts here and now it's generated as you can see it has two methods get and set setting value or getting value now we work only for the getting and i will say here if this value not null right as you can see here because it's nullable right this three posts has value but this is null if it's null or not has value right return the value else we will say here parsed value i will parse it using carbon here parse the date or the value right this represents the value of the column and i will say here return parsed value def for human method and now to use it it's easy back to our post and i will say here for this column name it is published add and call the class it's called human date cast this class here and use class name here back and check which we artisan tinker and check the value post first and published at here now it works correctly one hour ago what about the last post has no value for post find for find for it's null right what if we want to manipulate this hour to be h or short syntax only or how can we pass a parameter like decimal for example if you notice decimal like that the second value after column here has a parameter maybe any value two three four or anything how can we do that for the custom cast we can do it easily back to the custom cast and set function construct right and we will say here let's remove it short a value called short to pass it inside this parameter if you notice short here takes boolean value and it's by default equal to false right and i will say here let's define it also protected short and we will say this short equal to short and we will check or not checking even we can say here directly short parameter right this parameter here and the boolean value of this short parameter so if it's not defined it will be true if it's not it will be null which means false or false directly for this short now let's back to our post and i don't have any parameter and if i try again here for the first post one hour and if i bust parameter dot we bust parameter like that by the way here string and we will say for example any value short back and check again here is our published ad if you noticed one h ago the old value here one hour ago it's long value and it's a short value if we remove this parameter from here and if we try again it returns the long value again here's some quick tips about classes in laravel if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next video